we're going to be doing some foraging today. We're going to start out, when most people think about foraging, they think going way off into the wild, but we're going to start right here, right on the edges of our yard and see what's already underfoot. Right here we've got two species of plantain. We've got the broad leaf, and we've got the narrow leaf. Very common yard weeds. They have uh, the vein structure, has a single vein going down the middle, and then two on either side, and they're raised. And this particular broadleaf plantain is one of my favorites. It has uh, this purplish bottom, and that makes it really distinguish. You'll also notice when you pick it, it has these hair-like fibers that hang out of the bottom. They're very tasty, just as a as an edible green, but they're also really useful if you if you're stung by an insect, or even some natives use this on snake bite. You chew it up, put it on the wound site, and it has a, a tightening, drawing, astringent type action. So it's really good, for, it's very best for bee stings. Just chew it up, put it right on there. Um, you can eat them just as a salad green. Uh, it's one of my favorite edibles. Um, the narrow leaf plantain, I use these seed heads as salad toppers all the time. You probably have used them in your childhood. We used to fold them over like this and then shoot them and the head would pop off, but I eat them now. Um, these are not as desirable as a salad green. I, I generally like to cook them. They have some hair underneath and it does kind of dry your mouth out a little bit. That's that astringent tightening effect. A tea of this is also good for reducing blood pressure. So do some research on these two, broadleaf and narrowleaf plantain because they're everywhere and they're great.